here we have the graph of y equals x squared. And we can see that as we move along the curve, the gradient at different points is different. The gradient changes as we move along the curve. So here we've got a negative gradient. Over here we'll have a positive gradient. And then down here the gradient's different again. It's a negative, but it's different to at this point. So the gradient changes as you move along the curve. And we use differentiation to find the gradient at a point on a curve. So when we're using differentiation, we're finding the gradient at a point on a curve. And when we differentiate, we get dy dx. You can think of this as a well, difference in y over difference in x, like change in y over change in x that we use for straight line gradients. So we call the gradient function dy dx. When we differentiate, we get dy dx. And to find dy dx, we times by the power, then take one off the power. So the equation of our curve here is y equals x squared. So that's the equation of the curve. The gradient function is called dy dx. And to find dy dx, we times by the power, then take one off the power. So the power at the moment is 2. So we're going to multiply by 2. So that will give us, well, 2 times x squared is 2x squared. And then we take one off the power. So 2x to the power of 2 minus 1 is 2x to the power of 1, or just 2x. So we can say dy dx, the gradient function, is 2x. So we can find the gradient at any point along the graph on the curve y equals x squared by using the gradient function. So the gradient function dy dx is 2x. So if we wanted to know the gradient when x is negative 1, we can substitute in negative 1. So dy dx is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. When x is 5, the gradient, we use the gradient function, dy dx is 2 fives, which is 10. So dy dx is the gradient function. To find dy dx, we times by the power, then take one off the power. Here are some examples. We've got y equals x to the power of 4. We're going to find dy dx, find the gradient function. So dy dx can be found by timesing by the power. 4 times x to the power of 4 is 4x to the power of 4. But then we take 1 off the power, so it's 4x cubed. y equals 2x. So this isn't actually a curve at all. This is a straight line. And you might already know the gradient of this because it's in the form y equals mx plus c. But if we times by the power, then take 1 off the power. At the moment, it's the power of 1. We times by 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then we've got x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is x to the power of 0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1, so we've just got 2. That's a, probably a, a lot more complicated rather than just saying 2x is a straight line with a gradient of 2. It's got a constant gradient. It's not a curve, it's a straight line, and the gradient is always 2 on that line. So dy dx, the gradient function, is just 2. It's not going to change. No matter what the value of x is, it's always going to be 2. Number 3, y equals 5x cubed. So dy dx times by the power. 3 fives are 15. I then take 1 off the power, 3 take away 1 is 2, so 15x squared. And number 4, we times by the power, so negative 2 times 4 
is negative 8. I then take 1 off the power. Negative 2, take away 1, is negative 3. Okay, some questions for you to try. So pause the video and give these a go. So question 1, y equals 3x to the power of 5. We're going to times by the power. So 5 times 3 is 15. I then take 1 off the power. 5 take away 1 is 4. 8x squared. So times by the power. 2 8 is 16. I then take 1 off the power. 2 take away 1 is 1. x to the power of 1 can just be written as x. 7x to the power of negative 3. So negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. And then take 1 off the power. Negative 3, take away 1, negative 4. And the last one, this isn't a curve, it is a straight line. It's a straight line with a gradient of negative 3. So dy dx is negative 3. When we have an equation with more than one term, so this equation's got two terms, we just differentiate them separately. So for the first one, we've got y equals x squared plus 3x. So we can say dy dx. So we're going to differentiate x squared. So times by the power. So 1 times 2 is 2. And then take 1 off the power. 2 take away 1 is 1. We just write as 2x. We've got a plus and 3x differentiated. The gradient of 3x is just 3. So dy dx is 2x plus 3. For the second one, we want dy dx. The gradient function, we're going to times by the power and then take 1 off the power. So 3 times 2 is 6 x to the power of 3 take away 1, which is 2. The gradient of negative 5x is just negative 5. And negative 4 doesn't have any gradient at all. So the graph of y equals negative 4 is a straight line, a horizontal line, that crosses the y-axis at negative 4. It's got no gradient. As you go along, it doesn't go up or down. It's got no gradient. So this negative 4 disappears. And you could also think of it as negative 4x to the power of 0 at the moment. To differentiate, we times by the power, times by 0. And when we multiply by 0, we get 0. So this negative 4 is just going to disappear, and our gradient function is 6x squared minus 5. Okay, two for you to try. Pause the video. Give them a go. So the first one, dy dx. So for each term, times by the power, take one off the power. 3 times 2 is 6, and then take one off the power. 3 take away 1 is 2. Got 9x squared times by the power. 9 twos are 18. And take 1 off the power. So it's x to the power of 1 or just x. Negative 3x has got a gradient of negative 3. And the 1 by itself is going to disappear. Whenever you've got a number just by itself, it's got no gradient. It's going to go away. So that is dy dx. For the second one, dy dx. So we've got x, y equals x squared plus 7x minus 8. For each term, well for the first term, times by the power, and then take one off the power. So that's 2x. The gradient of 7x is just 7. That's a straight line with a gradient of 7. And a negative 8 has got no gradient at all, that disappears. So dy dx is 2x plus 7.